In this lab, we're going to configure Windows Firewall. We're going to configure rules for multiple profiles using GPO. So now we're in Server Manager. We'll click on Tools, then Group Policy Management. We'll open up our domain tree, select Practice Labs, right mouse click, create a GPO on this domain, and link it here. We'll call this one Windows Firewall Rule and click OK. Let's go ahead and select Windows Firewall Rule and go to Filter section. We're going to click on Object Types. We're going to select Computer. Let's click OK. Let's type PLAB DC01 and check names. Go ahead and click OK. Forgot to add PLAB DM01, so we'll add it right now. All right, so we have two computer names added to our list in the security filtering. Next, we're going to go back to our Windows firewall rule, right mouse click, select edit. We're going to go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Let's right click on Inbound Rules and select New Rule. Let's select custom, then next, next, protocol type, we will select ICMP v4, and next, the scope will keep the defaults, the action will keep the defaults, and the profile will keep the defaults as well. We'll name our rule firewall rule plab DC01, plab DM01, and click finish. There you have it, our first firewall rule for our domain controller and our domain member. Our next step is to create our connection security rule. Let's click on connection security rules inside of Windows Firewall. Right mouse click, new rule. Select custom, next. On endpoints, we'll keep these defaults. Next. On requirements, we're going to select require authentication for inbound connections and request authentication for outbound connections. So, inbound connections must be authenticated to be allowed. Outbound connections are authenticated whenever possible, but authentication is not required. Next. On the authentication method, we're going to use computer and user Kubernetes version 5 restrict communications to connections from domain joined users and computers provides identity information for authorizing specific users and computers in inbound and outbound rules next on the protocols and ports we're going to select ICMP4 Next, we'll leave these defaults. Next, and we'll name this connection security rule CSR PLAB DC PLAB DM01. Finish. And there you have it, our connection security. Let's configure our firewall properties. Click on Windows Firewall Properties. And firewall state will change it to on recommended, inbound connections allow, outbound connections allow. Let's go to IPsec settings. Let's click on customize. On data protection quick mode, select advanced, then customize. 
Let's put a check mark on require encryption for all connection security rules that use these settings. Click OK, click OK, and click OK. So our connection security rule is set between PLAB DC and PLAB DM. So we're going to open up a command prompt. And let's do a group policy update. And it's successful. Right now we're on our PLAB DM01 machine. We need to do a group policy update over here as well. All right, awesome. We're going to monitor connection security rule. Let's set up the connection security rule policy. Let's open up a command prompt and remember we're back on PLAB DC01. Let's go to tools. Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Let's go to Monitoring, Security Associations. Click on Main Mode. Let's right mouse click on this IP address here and go to Properties. And inside of Properties, it displays the Authentication Mode and the Encryption Mode. Click OK. Let's go to quick mode to see which protocol is protected by the connection security rule. And that will be protocol ICMP. Let's configure authorized computers. So we're back at PLAB DC01 and group policy management. Let's select Windows Firewall Rules, right mouse click on it, select Edit. Computer Configuration Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Select Rule 1, right mouse click, go to Properties. Let's select Allow Connection if it is secure. Click Apply. Select remote computers. Check only connections from these computers. Click Add. We've entered PLAB DC01 and PLAB DM01. Check names. OK. Go ahead and click OK. Let's reopen the command prompt on PLAB DC01. And let's ping PLAB DM01. Let's go ahead and switch to our Win7 box. Let's open up a command prompt. Let's ping PLAB DC01. No response. Now let's go to our PLAB DM box. Open a command prompt. Ping PLAB DC. 
01. We get a response. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Thank you for watching.